Oh, I wish I didn't have to leave. I wish I could just go set up a tent out there, you know, go camp on the plains, but unfortunately we're on a timetable, so more driving. Day three. Animal. He's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. I'm in a game of chicken with a jackrabbit. Come on, man. Come on, man. There he goes. There he goes. You're not scared of me at all, are you? Probably see a million people all the time. Either that or he's rabid and he's about to attack me. What's up? Good morning. Probably cold, I'm guessing, are you, pal? Or you just see that many people, you're not bothered. Bill, back up, back up. I mean, the bushcraft mobile does not look out of place here, does it? It's amazing because when you look out at the place, it looks so desolate, so devoid of life. But yet, first thing this morning, there's antelope and there's rabbits. And it's, you know, you can imagine back in the day just herds and herds of buffalo on here, bison, but unfortunately they're all gone, which is a shame. But anyway, anyway. Oh, she's warm, she's warm. Right, well, we got another nine hours, nine hours of driving today to get to Boise, Boise, Idaho. That's the plan anyway, and then from there we just got a, a short jump up to the, to the mountains, ready for this trip, so. Oh, more driving. I'm not looking forward to sitting for nine hours, but there you go. I'm trying, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm procrastinating, I'm procrastinating. I gave myself till 9 a.m. this morning. I had to set off. I think I've got like 30 minutes left, but I tell you what, climbing up that rock makes it it's a good start because the air's thinner. The air is definitely thinner and I'm gonna be gonna be up about this high hiking around for the next couple days. Well I say days, next week once I get there. So Oh anyway, anyway. Come on Robert. Come on Robert. Bit of emergency to start the day. Make sure I'm getting plenty of vitamins and minerals so that I don't. Obviously, you're eating, doing all this driving. I'm eating sandwiches and not great food. That's why I had a salad last night. It's simple to make, get some good stuff in my body. I don't want to be. Don't want to be uh, under under fueled by the time I get up there and have to start hiking. So, oh, I'm procrastinating. Right, let's do it. Let's do it. Just had my first Old West stick up. Three dollars fifteen a gallon. Three dollars fifteen a gallon. It's expensive out there in Wyoming. Yeah. We are officially in Utah. Blue hit. Well, this is the craziest place I've ever seen for a mall in my life, right on the edge of the, the Snake River Valley, but Gotta go into a sportsman's warehouse, and I've been in one of them before, but I gotta pick up some new boots. New boots, and they had them here. New boots, old boots, and I'll explain why next time I stop. It's just so awkward, <laughs> like pulling out the camera and talking when there's all these people around. Got him. So as you can see, I already have those boots. In fact, these were my two boot options. Both Danners. These ones are breathable, but they're not tall. These are my eight inch boots that I wear all year round. Not yet, all year round. 
These are my eight inch boots that I wear in the winter, but they're insulated and they've got 400 grams of insulation and they're just too hot for this time of year. So I went with something tried and true and got the uninsulated version. <sighs> Man, I'm coming to the conclusion that you guys, people, from the midwest you guys are full of full of baloney man all i see all the time is how cold it is how brutal the winters are and it is fr it's not freezing it's so hot out here man it's it was chilly yesterday up in wyoming but wherever i was before iowa yeah iowa and now idaho it's so hot man so hot i'm sweating i stink i stink we need to find somewhere for me to shower because i stink as you can see i got my laptop out i've been working it's so hot in boise i don't know i swear like when i left home it was like you know days were in the 50s nights were in the 30s and here it's like 85 and nights are in the 70s and i'm just i'm sweating i'm sweating but like i say i haven't been filming because i've just been editing and i'm exhausted and i'm ready to be in the mountains ready to be out of civilization and driving and noise and just be in the nice cool mountain breeze well the first thing the first thing I am doing today I'm taking this washcloth I'm taking some clean underwear some clean socks and I'm gonna go in that Walmart bathroom and I'm gonna wash myself from head to toe and hopefully I won't smell as bad and then when I get up into the mountains it's river time it's full on river dipping time so that's the plan this morning okay well we went to Walmart got some stuff that we needed we changed the dates on our fishing license and we just had a big breakfast at the Black Bear Diner my first experience of the Black Bear Diner I never even heard of it but every person that walks in there they ask, have you been to a Black Bear Diner? And everyone's like, no. And they're like, you've never been to a Black Bear Diner? It's like, I've never heard of it, but it's literally just a, a Denny's. <laughs> it's just a Denny's with Western stuff on the wall, to be honest. So yeah, so now it's time to head up in the mountains. I'm so full, I want to take a nap. It's so hot down here. I'm just ready to get up there, get a nap, get a wash, and relax and be in the mountains. Oh baby, oh baby, so, so beautiful. Hey man. How's it going? Uh, it's going, I'm just, uh, I stopped at Cabela's, got my license switched around, uh, <clears throat> picked up some uh, catfish bait and uh, some other stuff and I'm on my way. That's what I thought but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it how it ended up this way, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. Like, there's, from what I can see, there's not a ton of snow up there, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I probably, I, honestly, um, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna go over to landing. Um, I really yeah. If there's if there's no snow, I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, I'm like I would meet it's meet you and Riggins, but honestly, I wouldn't like. I want to wash myself in the river. I've got three days of grime on me. I'm like, yep. I'm waiting. Oh, I brought, I brought a bunch of like big ass like, uh, like they're for hunting, but they're like big ass diaper wipes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're in the mountains now. We are up in the mountains, and it is gorgeous. too shabby this old Idaho place I tell you it's not too shabby safe to say everyone who told me we we're gonna be in steep steep country was pretty right this is gonna be painful this is gonna be painful well 
this is it. This is the intended target. Down there, all the way down there is where we're supposed to be meeting up. And then we'll be out here for a week. It's... <laughs> oh, it's steep. It's steep. This is going to be a workout. This is going to be... I'm glad I bought, what, like 200 ibuprofen? <laughs> wow. This is just... Insane. Absolutely incredible. The truck made it. Bushcraft mobile doing its job. Freaking hairy road to get in here, I tell you, because there's, there's nothing but a huge drop at one point. Most of the way in, I was on the inside, but then at one point, you're, I was on the outside, and all of a sudden, I guess these guys do it all the time. There's, there's guide boats that do the river, so like, a guy came down with a big jewelry, like F. 350 or whatever it was with a huge guide boat on the back and I was like oh oh and he just was like yep yeah, I do this all the time do it every day no big deal but man this is this is so cool oh wow well. I'm looking forward I'm gonna get the binoculars out and I'm gonna do some glassing whilst I'm here see if I can see anything well not bad right I am not kidding you when I tell you I was not prepared for these temperatures at all. I mean, I was expecting like chilly, chilly weather. And it's not chilly at all. It's hot. I don't know how hot it is because I can't see, but well, I don't have service, but it must be in the 80s, man. It's been in the 80s all the way here. I don't get it. I don't get it. It was freezing when I left home. Oh, well, I say freezing, but you know what I mean? It wasn't hot. And apart from that one night in Wyoming, every day has just been like 80 degree. It's just, it's too much for me. It's too much for me right now. I'm not used to it. I'm gonna cook up some good food. I haven't had a, I feel like I haven't cooked a decent meal on this thing apart from those eggs. So, I mean, you can't beat it, can you? Can't beat it, but I'm not looking forward to hiking in it. Well, buddy Chris is here, which is good. Well, it's been a pretty good first day in Idaho. But it's been hot, it's been really hot. It's like 80 degrees. You can see the bushcraft mobile in there behind me. I've had that awesome view that you were just looking at. It's been nice, but like I say, it's been way, way, way hotter than I thought it was gonna be. But then talking to some other guys here, 
uh, some people who are fishing on the river, they were saying it's it's unseasonably warm. Like they just had three days of crazy weather, which I guess it's been following me since the Midwest, really. Just been way hotter than it should be. So hopefully, you know, the temperature should cool down over the next couple of days and that'll make it easier to hike because as you see how steep all this stuff is hiking in that with a full pack seven days worth of food and 80 degree weather is going to be tough there's not a lot of shade out here not many places to hide from it so so yeah let's, in fact I'm going to pull the truck camper up and then get inside I have noticed it's a little toasty in here than it is outside, but the nice thing is this will be the first night I've got the screens on the window. Like I paid extra for these windows and the uh, lighting, and I think it's made, it's definitely worth it, it's paying for itself. But now that I'm not in towns and stuff, this is the first night I'll be able to have them all the way open, get a nice cross breeze when it's this warm, so that'll be nice. But apart from that, like, I'm gonna... Chris is in bed because he, he set off a day after me. And he only, and he pulled in like two hours behind me. So he, he really like pushed it. And he lives an hour further east than me. So yeah, he's in bed. I'm pretty tired. I'm looking forward to getting a proper full night's sleep. And we don't have anything to do tomorrow. The plan isn't to go up and start hunting until maybe Monday morning so we've got plenty of time just to relax chill get our bearings we might go chase some turkeys tomorrow and do a bit of glassing but apart from that if you like this give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one take it easy